All right, YouTube, I'm gonna start a video here. I took the shelf that was above my air compressor and my uh, sandblaster down uh, because I'm gonna build a platform to actually put my air compressor up there out of the way and get it off the floor so I can organize my pressure washer stuff and crap over in that corner. So that block of wood that's right there that's going to be the new height of the shelf for the air compressor. It's right about the seven foot mark. So I can walk under it and not hit my head on the platform. I'm going, it's going to get screwed to the back post, to the post next to the door, and to the wall behind it. And I'm going to run some vertical supports between the purlins on the wall. Uh, this is the platform that I picked. This is the platform that I built out of scrap wood that I had laying around. That's the top of it. It's made out of two by tens and it's uh, 24 by 26, which is big enough for the uh, base of that air compressor. This piece here is uh, going to be the part that hangs out in the open air. And I haven't figured it out yet how I'm going to do it, but uh, I'm going to run a cable from this. Um, because this is going to be hanging out in open air and I don't want to run a post down to the floor. That's going to be that's notched out so it will so it'll fit uh in between the brackets of the door where the door goes up and down. So that'll be right next to the door. This will be against that back wall post and then this will be along the wall. This is going to be hanging out in open air here. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to run some sort of steel stainless cable. I haven't figured out how I'm going to hook it to this. Up to the main, there's a main beam that runs the whole length of the building that supports the whole top of the trusses and everything. It's probably the strongest part of the building. Um, I'm going to put an eye bolt up there, big old eye bolt, and that's what I'm going to use to winch the compressor up there. But then once the compressor's up into place, I'm also going to have a cable going from that that's going with a turnbuckle so I can adjust the tension on this. And that's what's going to hold the corner of this up is that big eye bolt. So that's the project. Um, and then we're going to have to extend our airline a little bit and our power up to it. But uh, that's no big deal. So basically, this is how it's going to sit on the wall this is the this is the part that's going to be out towards the open air and then this part back here will be um up against the wall the back corner where the post is three feet of the air compressor i put i measured them and i have the crossbars in areas where the three feet are going to sit so it's going to work out nice it's very strong i wood glued everything and it's got three inch deck screws construction grade deck screws holding it together it's solid i could park a truck on this thing so it's definitely going to hold the air compressor just fine i'm not this this kind of jets out because it's got to go between the brackets on the uh, overhead door track so that's going to be the way it is but this over here i left it long i wasn't sure how i was going to attach that stainless cable to support it so I just left it long. I can always run a circular saw down it and make it flush. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, and it's that's a bigger piece of wood. I kept that. Um, I used a larger piece on that side because uh, that side's going to have more stress on it being hung from a cable out here than than the other ones because it's going to get it's going to be screwed to the wall back here, screwed here, and then. Uh, there's going to be a support board that runs vertical that's going to hold the back to the wall. So this is really going to be the only part that needs to be super strong. So that's why I did that. And uh, yeah, we'll get it hung up here. So here I am installing the vertical board that's going to support the back part of the shelf. I'm uh, using a piece of 2x4 that's 24 inches long, so it will reach the horizontal purlins in the wall. I'm drilling through it uh, widthwise and running 4 inch structural bolts, um, lag bolts in through it as you can see. 
and then I will lag it to the shelf itself. Then I use those same uh, four inch structural lags and lag it to the vertical posts running in the corner next to the door and in the back corner. Honestly, I ran, I think, six of those bolts in, and the shelf was pretty stout. I actually hung from it, and it didn't move. So, uh, I would say it's pretty strong. Uh, and the cable that I support the outer corner with is probably really not doing much. But, uh, yeah, we'll move on here. And so here I am putting the uh, structural bolts through the 2x4 into the back corner of the shelf and uh, now I'm drilling a hole through the sideboard where the cable is going to run through. I drilled a hole through the sideboard and up through the one of the boards for the base and uh, just ran the cable through those holes instead of using some other way of securing it and you know it'll be It'll be just as strong as it needs to be to hold the air compressor. It's well overbuilt and it'll be just fine. Um, and uh, once I get those bolt, those holes drilled, I will uh, thread the cable through and uh, we'll uh, get the air compressor raised up into place. So here we go. We start winching up the air compressor and uh, using the winch on my ATV um, with a wireless remote. I use the winch on my quad a lot for doing things like this. It's uh, really convenient. I have a ratchet strap hooked to the feet to uh, pull out on the uh, air compressor to keep it away from the wall and to keep myself out from underneath the air compressor in case it would fall. Uh, the foot does catch the shelf here a little bit. Not too bad. Just had to pull out on a little bit more to get it up over the shelf. And then it uh, kind of literally just slid into place almost. And then uh, as the air compressor is kind of resting on one foot uh, and hanging from the cable, I was, in, I was able to undo the ratchet strap and uh, kind of situate the air compressor in place. Um, right now it's still being supported by the cable and the winch um, for the most part so I can get it situated. I'm going to slowly let it down into place. Now it's resting on two feet, and uh, I'm letting out the winch a little bit to give me some slack so I can stand it up. And uh, it, it went really smooth. The uh, snatch block and cable and hardware that I used is all rated for well over a thousand pounds, and the air compressor only weighs like 210 or something like that, so it's not that big of a deal. But it uh, worked out really well. Um, once the air compressor was sitting up there, uh, you can see that uh, the support cable for the shelf is not even hooked up because it was in the way of lifting the air compressor. So I disconnected it, and as you can see, the shelf holds the air compressor just fine without it. But uh, me being me, I overdo everything, so I put the cable on anyway and uh, went, to, went to finishing up this project. So um, there I'm snugging up the... Uh, turnbuckle on the cable and uh, the eye bolt that I put up in the main beam is a three quarter inch um, threaded eye bolt drilled all the way through the uh, top beam put a nut and washer on the back side I think it was rated like 2,500 pounds so way more than what's needed now I'm going to uh, situate the air compressor slightly on the shelf get it where I want it <coughs> I will be putting isolator feet under it for vibration uh, after the fact and uh, once they come in. Now I'm disconnecting the winch cable from the uh, motor bracket and uh, we'll get that undone and uh, get everything cleaned up and move on. And so here I'm undoing the snatch block, getting the cable and everything out of the way that I used to lift it with, and uh, I'll finish snugging up the, uh, the support cable for the shelf.
and we're going to move over to uh, another angle here. Uh, the air compressor, eh, see I'm going to stand on this shelf and it supports me just fine. So very, very strong. Um, now I'm going to tighten up the turnbuckle here. To I have a level, uh, there's a level on the shelf and I'm turning the turnbuckle just until the level started to move uh, where you could notice it picking up off the, you know, picking weight up off the shelf. And uh, once I got it to that point, uh, I just kind of left it there. And the cable didn't even real fit, didn't even feel really tight. Here's another look of what it's going to look like uh, from a different angle. And uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, and then I basically was able to extend my airlines and my power. I just put a longer cord on the compressor and ran it down to the outlet on the wall. Worked out really well. Uh, didn't kill myself and uh, cleaned up some uh, space on the floor so I can get myself better organized. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you want. Um, I do these videos as just a side hobby with the things that I like to do. I work a full-time job otherwise. I hope my videos help you with your projects in any way and maybe you learn something. I don't know. I uh, do a lot of different things in my daily life and I uh, feel that I'm well-rounded when it comes to mechanical and different skills and that sort of thing. So I just want to share some knowledge and show people what they can do with what they have. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.